David Dimbleby has claimed that the BBC is being overly careful when it comes to dealing with controversies surrounding the royal family. The veteran broadcaster, who returned to the BBC in September to help present their coverage of Queen Elizabeth's state funeral, said the corporation should more actively tackle points of contention and squabbles within the firm instead of shying away from those topics of public interest. The former BBC Question Time host told BBC's Hard Talk, I don't like deference. No, I don't like bowing and curtsying. I believe in a constitutional democratic monarchy. I believe one of the aspects of that is the BBC, as a broadcaster, should be able to look at the controversies that surround the monarchy. The former broadcaster went on to enumerate the points of contention that the BBC should more actively tackle how it's funded, what rights it has to change laws. He added, which it does and nobody knows much about, what rights it has to avoid paying taxes, which nobody knows about, corporate tax on death duties and inheritance tax. He noted that given the journalistic value of public interest, those things ought to be open, we're an open society. Mr. Dimbleby added, we should know about them and the BBC is cautious about doing that. The veteran broadcaster had previously criticized the BBC's royal coverage, saying the corporation has an old sore about the monarchy and will not go near controversial topics such as the palace's ability to change tax legislation and the fact that the Duchy of Cornwall doesn't pay capital gains tax. In an address at Henley Literature Festival, Mr. Dimbleby claimed that all those issues are never touched by the BBC because I think they feel their viewers will not like it, a visceral feeling. He added, I think it is wrong and these things should be properly examined. The 83-year-old veteran journalist has been broadcasting for more than 70 years now and has been the go-to presenter for royal and political occasions throughout his seven-decade career. In his new memoir titled Keep Talking, A Broadcasting Life, Mr. Dimbleby offers an inside account of his career at the BBC covering events spanning from his tough on-air questioning of Prime Ministers like Harold Wilson and Margaret Thatcher to apartheid in South Africa. He also reveals his private feelings towards the monarchy, questioning the complacent coverage of the media, why the need for obeisance, he wonders. Why the fuss? In his latest stint at the BBC, he said he was alarmed to see the levels of control that Buckingham Palace had over what could and could not be broadcast at the Queen's funeral. During the live broadcast from St George's Chapel, the team weren't under any injunctions, but were simply told, to be courteous and not show the King in floods of tears or dwell on it. But Mr. Dimbleby recalled emails coming through from Buckingham Palace giving clear indications as to what clips of footage could not be shown in future broadcasts. Read next.